am, I just decided I was going to wash these apples and actually use them before they go bad and thought I would just share the experience with you. So you're back. I had internet issues for a moment. I am just still pouring all these apples. So these apples haven't quite turned yet, um, but they're not my husband's favorite, but they were given to me, so I'm not gonna waste them. They're just really small apples. So I'm making an apple crisp. So what else can you do, or what can you do with the cores? Don't just throw them away. You can, well, the three things I can think of is you can make your own um, apple cider vinegar. So it's just water, right? Um, the other thing you can do with it is compost. Make your garden healthier. Um, and then the other thing you can do is uh, feed it to your chickens, but what else, what else can, what else can you think about? What else can you do with the apple cores? Now that's just for the apple cores, but as for the apples, you can do a lot of things with these too. I'm making an apple crisp, but you can slice them into rings and make them into, um, what is word? make them into uh, dried apple chips. You can, um, where is the clear thing? Why can nobody put anything away properly? It is gone. And I didn't look for it, so. Whatever. Um, so yeah, apple chips with this. Uh, you can put cinnamon and sugar inside, wrap it with pastry, and you can make little baked apples. Um, I'm going to put this onto basically mm, really thick rings is what I think I'm going to do with this. That way, um, I'm, and I'm just going to into pieces so that uh, I can put them in my baking dish. So let's get these cut and ready to go. I'll just have to cut more later. your fingers don't go by the blades. So I'm going to take this chopped up apple and I'm going to put it in one of these dishes over here. So this is the thickest, but you can, I can, um, you know, when I've cut uh, onions before, you can see that it goes way thin too. Oh, let's do the rest of these. I might need another baking dish. You guys, even, well, um, maybe professionals, like maybe professional chefs can go that fast and be this even, but I can't. So I am really digging this new mandolin for things like this. So I've got one dish almost full, but I really want to use up all these apples. So I 
just don't like wasting food. It's not my thing. So, I use what I have. And if it falls on the floor, it'll go to the chickens. They will love it. Alright. So I filled up this little cast iron baking dish. Now I'm going to fill up my little five and a half inch cast iron dish. But I have more apples. So I think what I'm going to do, I don't want to make more applesauce and I don't want to make more apple pie filling. I am going to Keeping them in small containers because, you guys, I don't want to turn on my um, oven to make this apple crisp. I don't want to heat up my kitchen. I want dessert. small. I mean, I could put this in my blender and make apple jam. Or in my quick cooker and make apple sauce or apple pie filling. But I actually have enough of that in my So now I've got the apples taken care of. I'll wash my hands really quick and grab a bowl. Okay, so for the crisp topping, it's actually quite easy. I'm only going to be putting some, um, I don't have brown sugar. white sugar and then I'm going to get my molasses out and not make a mess in here. You know when you move something out of your pantry and then everything tries to fall down? That's what's happening right now over here and it's not cool. White sugar, molasses, and then all you have to do, folks, is get a fork and mix it all up. And this makes brown sugar, white sugar, and molasses. Obviously, the more molasses you add, the darker it becomes. So I'm going to call that good. And then we add cinnamon to it. We're going to add, stop it, 
trying to get it closed and it's not working. There it goes. Um, we're going to add a little bit of flour and a little bit of oats. Right? Is that everything? Mm -mm 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 -mm. bit of flour over the top there and the oats I think are up here yeah there we go I spilled a little bit. Okay. We have one more step after this. Last step is what we're going to do is we're going to put some butter on top. The really awesome thing about um, the air fryer is that it doesn't heat up the kitchen and um, there's no preheating involved. It just goes to the temperature it's supposed to be at. So I'm going to do about four thin pats of butter on those guys. And I'm going to put See how I can fit these in here. This one goes on the bottom, obviously. And then on my second shelf, I don't think I can fit both of them in. I think one of them has to go into the refrigerator for a little bit. But that one fits lovely right there. So I'm going to plug it in. And I'm going to put it on bake. And I'm going to put it on, I think, for 40 minutes-ish. Yeah. But it bakes faster and they're smaller. So I'm going to try 25 minutes and then I'll check it. Okay? And then I'm going to wrap this up and put it into the, uh, the fridge. And then I will bake up this one later. But I'll let you know how the uh, apple crisp turns out. And I just wanted to give you another alternative when your apples start going and you want to use them and not throw them away. Plus, I really wanted to show off my amazing, amazing rapid cut mandolin. 
because it makes my life so much easier. And it's a new tool from Pampered Chef. Um, people really like that one because the blade goes over the food instead of the food going over the blade, which means your fingers don't have to touch or go by the blade, so it's safer. And it's um, easy for the kids to use too, so you can put the food in there and the kids can just push it down and it'll make it'll slice, it'll dice, it'll uh, make french fries. It's just really, really fun to use. So I will talk to you later. Have an amazing day.